Hi, thanks for joining me today. It's Geraldine from the Paper Puffin Studio, and today I'm going to show you how to make this box, which has inside the little treats. So I made this card a couple of weeks ago. It's a peekaboo slider card, and I already posted how to make this card. So I thought it'd be fun to make a coordinating box to match. To show you how this box works, I'll just remove this ribbon. And on the inside, this box has three boxes. Inside of each of these boxes, you could place a little chocolate treat or a little gift for the recipient. You'll see that each one of those boxes then opens like so. Now I made another one a while back, which I also posted about on my social media. And this is the one I made, and it was to match this happy birthday set. So it has so many different uses, depending on which designer series paper you want to use and which sentiment you want to use. Remember, if you like my video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Now let's get started. Now, because this box has many steps to it, I'm breaking it down and I'm going to do the three small boxes in these next few steps. So for the three small boxes that go on the inside, you need to have your base color pieces cut three of them at four and a half by four and a half inches. For the small box lids, you're going to need three pieces cut at two and nine sixteenths by two and nine sixteenths. That's one notch beyond two and a half inches. And you're going to need three pieces of designer series paper, each cut at one and three eighth inches by one and three eighth inches. Now to build the inside small boxes, you're going to need to take a piece of your base color that you cut at four and a half by four and a half, and we're going to score it on one and a half inches on all sides. So I'll just go through that for one of these boxes. So I'm lining it up at the one and a half inch mark in my trimmer and using my scoring blade, I'm scoring on all sides. And you're going to do that for each of those three pieces for the three smaller boxes. Now I'll fold and burnish on each one of those score lines. Now to build a box, you need to get the flaps prepared. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut up on this score line. That will make one flap. I'm then going to turn, cut on this score line, turn, cut on this score line, turn, and cut on this score line. So you'll see now that I have flaps on each one of these corners. Now before I start assembling the box, I'm gonna go back to each one of those flaps and I'm gonna cut about half of the paper off. So I'll show you what I mean. So on this flap here, I'll cut off half. Go to this next flap, cut off half, Go to this next flap here, cut off half, and then go to this next flap and cut off half. Now we're ready to put this box together. So as we do that, these flaps will go on the inside of the box. So to show you, I'm going to be assembling the box like this. The flap will go on the inside, all the way around the box so that the box is nice and neat when it's finished. Like this. So I'm going to go ahead and put glue on each one of these flaps. Okay, and I'll pick up there. 
Now that I have the liquid glue attached to each one of those flaps, I'm now going to assemble the box. And you're going to do that for each one of the small boxes that go on the inside. Now to assemble each one of the lids of the three small boxes for the inside, I'm taking the piece of cardstock that we cut at two and nine sixteenths square, and I'm going to score at a half an inch on each side. For me, it's easier to manage if when I'm doing a small score line such as this, I use the right side of the trimmer as my guide. So I'm gonna be lining it up at a half an inch right here, and then going all the way around to score at a half an inch on each side for each one of the lids. And I'll now go ahead and score, burnish, and fold. I'll now fold and burnish each one of those score lines, and I'll speed that up for you. Now with the designer series paper attached to the lid, I'm gonna go ahead and get the flaps all ready. So I'll cut down each one of the score lines here. I'll flip the paper all the way around and then I'll cut on each one of those score lines there. That's gonna allow me to have these four flaps which will get tucked in. Now before I go ahead and glue those flaps in, I'm going to miter them slightly because it helps the lid go on a little nicer. So to do that, I just tuck this piece out of the way, the middle piece, and then I cut off at an angle on each one of these little flaps. Turn the paper around and do the same thing on this end. Now I'll put some Tombow glue on each one of these flaps and we'll pick up there. Now that I've got the glue on each one of those flaps, note that the glue goes on the same side that the designer series paper is on. I'm gonna go ahead and tuck those in and assemble the lid of this box. And you'll just have to hold the glue in place until it dries. So you'll do that for all three of the lids. Then when you're ready, you'll be able to assemble those lids onto the little boxes like this. Now to build the base of the large box, we're going to need a piece of our base color measuring eight and a half inches by five and a quarter inches. We're gonna need two pieces of designer series paper measuring four and seven eighth inches by one and five eighth inches, and then four pieces cut at one and five eighth inch square. You're going to need a piece of accent cardstock, which measures four and seven eighths by one and five eighths, and a piece of white cardstock that measures four and three quarter inches by one and a half inches, and you'll stamp a sentiment of your choice on this one. Now we're ready to score the base of the larger box. So with the eight and a half inch edge along the top of the trimmer, you're gonna line this up and score at one and three quarter inches, and then slide it over and score again at six and three quarter inches. You're then gonna turn your paper so that the five and a quarter inch is along the top, and you're gonna score at one and three quarter inches, and then again at three and a half inches. Now that I've got all of those score lines made, I'm gonna go ahead and fold and burnish along each one of those. I'll speed it up for you.
Now that I've gone ahead and folded and burnished all of those score lines, I'm ready now to do some cutting. So I'm gonna cut off each one of the corner squares using those score lines as my guide. So I'm adhering the two larger strips of designer series paper on each of these side flaps and two of the smaller squares on each of these smaller flaps. Now I'm going to flip the paper over. I'm going to be attaching designer series paper on these two flaps, so the squares. And then for this center portion, I'm going to go ahead and stamp the sentiment and attach that on the inside. I've stamped the sentiment and the image that I want, and now I'm going to take this piece of white and I'm going to adhere it to the accent color that I chose. Then I'm going to put some glue on the back here, and this is going to sit on the inside bottom of the box. I also have the two pieces of designer series paper that were cut already, and they're gonna go on these inside flaps. This will make the base of the box. For the lid of the box, you're going to need a piece of your cardstock in your base color, which measures six and one sixteenth inch by two and 13 sixteenths of an inch. You're going to need a piece of white at four and seven eighths by one and five eighths, a piece of your accent color at four and three quarter inches by one and a half inches, and a piece of designer series paper measuring four and five eighth inches by one and three eighths of an inch. Now to score the lid, you're going to need to score at a half an inch on all sides. So with your scoring blade in place, I'm gonna go ahead and line up the right side of my paper with the half inch mark and I'll score all the way around. I'll fold and burnish all of these sides and we'll pick up there. Before I go ahead and do any cutting and assembling of the lid, I'm gonna attach the designer series paper to the accent color and then to the piece of white and then this will all get attached to the lid. Now with all that decorative paper attached to the lid, I'm going to go ahead and assemble the lid like I do with the small boxes. So I'm going to cut up the score lines to make these flaps on either side. So I've cut those two, turn the paper, and then cut these two. I'll then miter the edges of those little flaps. I'll now put some glue on each of those tabs and tuck those in so that I can assemble the box. I'll speed that part up for you. So now that I have all of the pieces ready to assemble the box, I'm going to take the three smaller boxes and I'm gonna put some glue on the bottoms of each one of these and line them up like this. I'm going to place these two in place first, making sure that I don't go over the score line and I don't go over either of the edges. Then I'll be ready to figure out exactly where I want that one to sit so that when I close up the box, they all will tuck inside nicely. So here you can see I've already glued this box and this box. 
in this box I have not glued yet. So this one is going to have to tuck in here nicely. So what I'll do is I'll line it up exactly where I want it. I'll put glue on the bottom and then when I close over this portion of the box it will pick up this box. So here is the finished box. I've got these three smaller boxes already attached. I can place inside of those a little ferro rocher or a little gift. Then the box folds in like so. You fold up the sides and you place the lid on. You then can put a ribbon of your choice around the box to hold it together. So I've gone ahead and chosen to use this Just Jade ribbon. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. See you next time.